Hello everybody, Minus Storm here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Online Stormblood. In the last episode, we continued working on the Crystal Tower storyline. We went over the plan for trying to rescue Une, Doga, and of course Nero as well. Um, that plan entailed using the energies of the Crystal Tower to reopen a new portal to the World of Darkness and then for us to basically jump in and go looking for um, our missing comrades. Because they're the only ones that can annul the contract that um, Zande made with the Cloud of Darkness and prevent the Cloud of Darkness from coming through to our world and laying waste to it. So you know, save the, uh, you know, save the world sorts of stuff. So, that is what we now need to do. So, we need to use a duty finder to enter the world of darkness and uh, find out what's on the other side of that portal and kill it with pointy sticks. As, you know, we are good at doing. So, let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and head into Duty Finder. And we're doing raids, World of Darkness, and we are going to go ahead and just queue on in right away. Now, as you may notice, I am not on Warrior. I am queuing in as Samurai. And the thinking on that was, I was talking about this with one of my... Um, one of the members of my free company and they were thinking that it might be quicker for me to queue as a DPS for these 24 man raids because as you can see you only need three tanks for this but you need 15 DPS so the demand for DPS over tanks is a lot higher so the likelihood that I would get into a group that is in need of a DPS is more likely than that it needs a tank. So, I am going to see if this works or helps at all. So as usual, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording. I will be back once the raid is ready to go. Alright, so I'll be back in a moment. All right, looks like we're ready to go. And that was quite a bit quicker. All right, commence. I don't know if that was just the fact that I'm recording at a different time than I usually do, or if the whole going in as DPS thing actually worked or not. But I'll take it. Though we have two healers that need to push the button. One healer that needs to push the button. There we go. Let's see if I remember how to play this class. It's been a little while. And see if I remember how to do this raid. It's been a little while. Alright, we are in Alliance A. A little rusty here. Can't really get to that thing because of the AoEs. Alright, two headed dragon. Just 
single target the dragon down. Through that. And here is our first boss, Angra Mine You. Alright, this thing has some interesting mechanics. Um, I don't quite remember them all. There is that thing where it, um... Changes the color of the floor. And then we got this thing where... That just kind of rotates around the room and then eventually it'll stop and then that's when it does its damage. Oh, then look away. All right, so we stood in the red area last time. All right, so I'm going to stay in the white area this time. I think that those glowing circles are for clearing the doom status if you get it. If I remember correctly. Oh, look away. That symbol. Looks like a bunch of people didn't look away. Someone has Doom. I'll say they cleared it. Good. Or they died. Either way. I don't know if that was a result of the Doom or if they... something else killed them. All right, we don't need any of the loot from here, so we're just gonna pass on everything. Gates. Gonna kill these. Don't know if we really need to, but going to anyway. Zonde's clone. Really?
Uh, if you don't deal with the gates quickly enough, then they bring in ads. Looks like the clone is down. So we're through. Yeah, that's the loot we already passed on. All right, here's the five headed dragon. And I don't really remember the mechanics here. Heads of fire and ice begin flailing about. Okay. Heads of thunder and poison begin flailing about. I'm gonna get away from that guy. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. If you get these tethers, they will do lots of damage to you. You have to, like, run so that you hand these off. Oh, we need to kill the heads. Kill the heads. Okay, heads are down. Band. Slime? Ooh, ooh, big poison puddle there. Don't want to stand in that. Dragon inhales. I've got the expanding ice puddles again. Ooh, I took a big hit. Uh, don't know exactly from what. There's a lot of a lot of effects going off. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on. But stuff like that is pretty obvious to get out. All right, boss down. I'll still open the the treasure chest there, even though I don't think anybody here really needs it. So, Alliance A goes left. Alright, so this thing is gonna like knock you down to the lower level and you have to try to get back to the top level when you do. Oh, we got 
knocked off. Fortunately, all those are lit. Ow, we got knocked off again. This thing is gotta die. Oh, it, it sucked me up and it's gonna spit me out. Okay. All right, ours is down. Okay. Now here we have Cerberus. And typically, Alliance B, this is a mechanic that's gonna make everybody mini, and then he will eat people. And actually you need to get a group to go into his stomach while minied to destroy his innards. And typically it's Alliance B that does that. I say it's B for belly. We'll see. I am being targeted. See, there's the gastric juice. That's the thing that makes you mini. Yep, you get mini, you get hit by the gastric juice. And then you walk into that puddle over there, and then he eats you. Which maybe I should do it once. Just to see it. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Alright, minied. And I walk in here. And you go inside, and then you gotta fight and kill things in here. And the stomach wall is the primary target. It's pretty, pretty gross. It doesn't look like a lot of people are coming in here. Looks like we just got regurgitated. Or I died. Because no healer came in. So we'll see if someone gives me a raise. There we go. Definitely use some heals there. Doesn't look like anybody's actually doing what they need to do. And they're just trying to brute force it, which doesn't really work. Yep, there we are. 
Yep, now everybody's getting on Alliance B's case for not going in the belly like they should. Jeans have been dealt with. Now he's putting out the gastric juices. So then Alliance B should head into the gastric juice. Get minied and then get eaten. It's like two people in Alliance B didn't get minied first. If you don't get minied first and you try to get eaten, you're dead. Alright, ads are up. I'm in Alliance A, so I should be doing ads. Careful not to step in that purple puddle if they're not many. There's another ad. Lion C needs to get on the chains and bring the chains over. Eventually break the chains again. This is actually pretty. Is this is a pretty fun encounter, uh, even now. So. When done properly, of course. Maybe able to get him down before he break. No, he broke. Uh, broke his chains again. But we may be able to get him down without another belly phase. Yeah, he's, he's going down here. Alright. Down. Who disturbs the gloom? Ah, mortals from the realm of light. You have not stumbled something or another. I am the cloud of darkness. What I do not smother, I devour. What I cannot devour, I destroy. The covenant is everlasting. All mortals before the flood of darkness will sink lifeless into the void. I think is what she said. Alright, 
They, of course, have already engaged. Attack that will follow you around, so you just gotta keep running. There's another thing where people have to get st have to go stand in these areas here in order to prevent massive damage to the raid. Ah, dark clouds. Okay. You gotta prevent these clouds from reaching the boss. If you stand in between the boss and the cloud. It actually slows it down. All right, so there's dark storms. Up, oh, and we have one of these going on. Is everybody in one? Does everyone have somebody in it? That looks like they Oh, too many clouds reach her when she does that. Everybody dies. Alright. Which is our group? Over here. Okay. She's almost down. Oh, I forgot about that. Much seen everything. All right, that's it. Out of darkness defeated. Player combinations, we'll give it to somebody else over there. Loot. I don't need any of this stuff. I will take the minion if no one else wants it. And it looks like nobody else wanted it. Alright, let's head out of here and watch cutscene. Where in the Seven Hells are they? Without them to stem the energy in the tower, our defeat of the Cloud Aids are cause little. Doga, Une, can you hear me? Nero? Must you be so infernally loud? Are you so keen to attract more Void Scent? Though I don't blame you for missing my company. 
Think to 12, are you alright? Well, Nero doesn't look alright. As alright as can be expected, Une has simply passed out. Nero, by the gods, what's happened to you? Alas, his wounds were too deep and allowed this foul place entry into his body. Now the darkness claws at the ether of his very form. Would that we could have protected him. The cloud of darkness was bound by Zande's unholy covenant to bring prosperity to Allegan royalty. The same blood that sealed this contract gives us a measure of protection. I say a measure, for this vow does not protect us from other void scent. The cloud imprisoned us here precisely to unleash fiends upon us. We would be dead had Nero not defended us so valiantly. Mistake not my actions for kindness. I have use for you yet in Eorzea, and simply couldn't let harm befall you here. Where? Excuse me. Une, you are safe. Our friends have come for us. Have they? Then perhaps, Doka, there is yet hope we may fulfill our purpose. Mortals, you dared to challenge me and now must feel my wrath. Well, it looks like it's not done yet. Did you think to destroy me and my realm? Here I am eternal. I will smother your light and entomb your bones amongst my shadows. Uh, are we truly so powerless here? As long as we fight the cloud in this realm, I fear so. And yet, though we may not be able to destroy it, this may be our chance to stop it. If we strike now, whilst the cloud can barely hold her form, mayhap we can sever Zande's covenant. Yes, and raise the bridge between the Crystal Tower and this foul place once and for all. Ayame, Graha, you must flee. You... you and Doga mean to stay here? Tis madness. You must return with us. No one but you can save the world from the threat of the Crystal Tower. What is this trickery? Your blood! You too gain protection from Zande's blood. Grahatia, you are possessed of royal blood. That is why the royal eye runs in your line. Tis a gift you have inherited, Graha. You have been granted authority over the Crystal Tower. I thought time would consume all of Ally, Ally that was. That a man should still live with his forebear's blood in this age can be no coincidence. Some person must have planted this gift in your line and used the highest of Allegan technology to do so. True, the Crystal Tower is not like to recognize you as Allegan, not as you are now, but your royal eye speaks a simple truth. Within you dwells one feeble glinter that will illuminate all, the light of hope. But how should I use this light? Pray tell me. You must gain control of the Crystal Tower. We will share our blood with you, Graha. Though its effects will be but ephemeral, it will bolster the Allegan presence within you. This is our gift to you, that you may fulfill your destiny. All with the royal, al royal eye are bound by fate to Alag. Our part in this journey is to bury Zande's dark ambitions in the past. This was the true Une and Doga's purpose, one we have carried into the future. Know that as long as this light of hope survives in you, our souls will still remain even if our bodies are lost.
You must leave us as well, Nero. I am sorry we could not live up to your expectations. I must return to you what is yours, though. You dropped it whilst, bef uh, whilst defending us. What you seek by this instrument may not be possible, Nero. But do not give up. There are many other paths that await you. Of course they do. Durga, Une, I thank you. We should never forget you. Now, Ayame, Nero, let us quit this place. You shall not escape me, impudent children of light. Yeah, she's pissed. No, you shall not escape us. Here, Zande's bloodstained dreams of glory end. There, the glint of light. It's a little more than a glint. It, it grows faint. Then the bridge between realms grows fragile by the Covenant's annulment. If that light dies, we are stranded here. Hurry! Nero, no! You must move! Leave me. I don't need you. If I die here, it'll be because I bloody well decided to. I failed to master darkness. I'll not suffer watching a green boy master the tower. Do what you will with it, but remember me, son of Alag. I am Nero, Tol Nero Tolskeva, the man who will yet outdo Alag and Garland. That was what you hoped to... May the Crystal Tower again be a beacon of hope for mankind. Hmm? Go, damn you! must move onwards this this is not where I come to rest but how did so those damn clones did it after all now onwards You owe me, Nero. Ah, uh, Sid. The hell's I do? Your return unharmed. Thank the gods. And then void gate started to close. I had never felt so powerless in all my life. We were running about like madmen trying to keep the gate open, and then the chief actually went and dived in. But if you're all set, hmm. Where are Une and Doga? They're not. I see. 
I'll miss the two of them dearly, but I am happy they fulfilled their purpose. We who live on must still attend to the Crystal Tower, though we now have no one able to seal it. That is not true, my friend. Une and Doga have entrusted me with their blood. I can now control the Crystal Tower. Graha. Yes, I can see it in your eyes. Good. And let us put an end to this and seal away the tower. I understand your instinct, Rambrose, but please give us a moment to rest. I'm weary to the bone, and Nero and Ayame are both emerged from long battle. Of course, of course, you have the right of it. Come, we shall leave this place for a spell and repair to St. Cornac's find. It's an odd expression. No one but you could have succeeded in the world of darkness, Ayame. But that it could have been of more use beyond the rift. As it stands, I was but a vessel for Doga Onune's blood. Hmm? Have I remembered what I wished to? Yes. Something has come back to me. Gaining royal blood and witnessing true bravery has reminded me of my forebear's dearest wish. We need not speak of these things now. It was not my place to keep you. Pray go on ahead of me. There is something small I would do before I return. I could not have asked for a better comrade. If only I could have been part of your adventures for longer, Ayame. Alas, fate dictates I have a different role to play. A wish hidden for millennia and brought to light by the good people of Noah... Now, finally, tis my time to see it realized. Alright, we need to speak with Rambrose at St. Coinax Find. Yep, through the crystal gate. And then we'll just ride on back as we have done several times before already. Rambrose, turn this in. I cannot, I cannot express how glad I am you returned safely, Ayame, and with the means to dispel the threat of the Crystal Tower for good. Rest, if you will, and then let us free ourselves from the specter of the Alligans. We do have one more quest to do as part of this, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that, and then we'll call it a day. Alright, I trust you have rested, my friend. Good. I wish to seal the tower now, but there is something we must do first. Let me summon the others, and hear in full what happened beyond the rift. So the elegant eye that runs in Graha's line does mean that royal blood flows in his veins. I suppose it is not... I suppose it is not so odd to think his forebears gained it via ancient technology, but who imbued his family with the blood, and for what purpose? Mayhap all this was fate, from discovering the tower to Graha gaining Une and Doga's blood. Has Graha said anything? For that matter, where is Graha? And what of Nero? I'm not sure about a resident historian, but Nero left the tower with me, where he's vanished to since, I cannot say. But knowing him as I do, I don't believe he'll scheme against us for the time being, though he is still Nero.
Yami, you say Graha stay behind at the Crystal Tower? I wonder if he even now prepares to seal the place off. Master Rambrose, Master Rambrose. Who's this? Tis Grahatia, sir. He came into the Crystal Tower and began ordering researchers out. What? Why would he do such a thing? I do not know, sir, but he was quite insistent. He all but bodily forced me out of the gates. I suppose it's possible he told one of the others, but I wasted no time in finding out. I thought it best to hasten here and ask your guidance. Very well, let us go and speak with these researchers and get to the bottom of this queer business. Master Garland, Ayame, please come with me. No doubt Graha means to seal off the Crystal Tower. But it worries me that he did not breathe a word of his plan to us. Alright. Speak with the son of Saint Koinak. Where? All the way back down there. Oh, we were just there too. I guess we're riding back. At least it's not a long ride. Here we are. There's one of the researchers. Alright, what in the world was Grahatia thinking? Demanding we leave the tower? Oh. I was thinking demanding we leave the tower. No doubt you want to know why. I wish I knew that myself. Of course, he would tell me nothing, but he will... He will be honest with you, miss. I am certain of it. Alright, let's go see what he's up to. Go no further, my friends. The doors will close ere long. So you are of a mind to seal the tower, Graha. I know time is of the essence, but all I ask is a hint of your plan. Please, come here so we can discuss this. No, my apologies, but I cannot. Come, man, what is this nonsense? If aught is amiss, surely we can help. Not this time, my friend. Just as Une and Durga fulfilled their destiny, so too must I fulfill mine. My blood has awakened me to this fact. As my father told me, the truth is always laying with Alag, or rather, twas there the wish I must grant was born. You see, not all the world perished in Zande's calamity. Survivors stood amidst the ruins of Alag, looking to the Crystal Tower, but it was nowhere to be seen. Yet they hoped its spires would again dominate the land, and prayed that the Crystal Tower would be a beacon of hope to people everywhere. Word of this soon reached the only member of Alag's royalty to outlive the Empire, the Princess Selina. Selina was moved by the people's dearest wish. She used the very best of Alag's technology to give her blood and memories to he whom she trusted most. The man... That man was my forebear. For millennia, we waited. Alag's art and ingenuity faded. Our royal blood grew thin. But before the last drop could vanish from the realm, the memory of all this returned to me. And now I must fulfill the wish of the ancients. The tower will shine forth as a new beacon of hope. Graha, 
The Crystal Tower's strength poses too great a threat to Eorzea now. We would need technology as advanced as Alex to use it correctly. As things stand, we barely understand the tower's workings. Hells, we may never fully comprehend them. Tis as you say, Sid. We could wait for someone, someday, to reach the same heights as Alag, but by then, we will have lost the royal blood and the means to control the tower. But what if I do as Ammon did, and put the tower into a deep sleep? What? You cannot mean that. I am deadly serious, Sid. The tower may only be used once men rival the Alligans in knowledge. I will slumber within Circus Tower until then, to greet those with the means to open the gates. Then I will guide them, and thus will the tower shine forth as the beacon of hope it was meant to be. Tis the only way to make the wishes of the ancients come true. The future is where my destiny awaits. But yours lies outside of these doors. Go, create a future where hope reigns, and the tragedies of the past are but memories. No one but you can accomplish such things. Nothing we say will make you change your mind, will it? Onwards to a brighter future. It won't be easy, of course, but that's exactly why we'll do it. We'll catch up with Alag. Just you wait. We'll cover all that lost ground before you even know it. Well said, Wedge. It'll only be a few years before we come knocking, Graha. Then you're in for a rude awakening. You shall be witness to Noah's accomplishments. Pray keep alive our successes, and forgive us our failures. And may we meet again, my friend. The Twelve keep you till then, Rambrose. I look forward to learning of your exploits. And you, Ayame, I know history will remember you. No doubt your heroism will be the star by which I chart my course when I awake. Well, now I must rest. Recalling so much has put me in the mood for sleep. Very well, my friends. I eagerly await a future born of your courage and the ancient's wish. Ah, Nero. The Crystal Tower slumbers again, then. It is too quiet for my taste. Goodbye, Sid. I must put all this at my back. Possibility beckons, and I am bound to follow. A new dawn has come for me. Ah, 
All right, so Grahatia has remained in the tower to put it to sleep and go into stasis himself. All right. So that actually will conclude. Well, we have to turn this in, but that, that is pretty much the end of the Crystal Tower story sequence. So we'll just ride back to St. Kornak's Find, turn this in, and then we will call it a day. And then for next episode, we'll go ahead and get back to the main story and push ourselves towards Shadowbringers. All right, Rambros. All right, you've just missed Sid, Ayami. There is much that needs his attention if he is to fulfill Graha's wishes, it seems. But this is not the end of Noah. No matter how lonely St. Kunek's find has become for our friend's departure, we must all walk in different directions now. Remember that we labor for a brighter future lit by Graha's beacon. Sealing the Crystal Tower was but the first step. Farewell, my friend. May our paths cross again. Allegan Catalyst, which we don't really actually need. Alright, there we go. So, with that, that will conclude this episode. And so we will see what comes next time. So, for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.